Well, alrighty, everyone. This is Charlie Six Zulu with another episode of Sartar. We are waiting for Armored. He is doing some stuff on his side. Uh, we are messing around with some bullshit, some fun stuff uh, for on the personal side. But it does give me a little bit of time to talk to some more companions. We've talked to Kira a lot. We'll still talk to her. She's our bae. We won't talk to Doc. Fuck Doc. But let us start with T7. What have you got for me? Uh, well, this is bigger than we thought. Only a few dozen senators have access to those accounts. One of them must be an Nothing involving T7 is bigger. <laughs> Welcome back, Armored. Mm -hmm. Senators shouldn't betray the Republic. No, they would never do that, right, Armored? Senators would never betray what? the Republic. No, of course not. A senator can be just as greedy and ruthless as well, any. Why would that? Yeah, that sounds like crazy everything's talk. clearly perfect. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, we'll have to keep this quiet. This casts a bad light on the entire Senate. Until we know who's responsible, I don't want this to leak out. Wow. <laughs> Are you already loaded in? Uh, speaking of which, I should just quickly travel to Tatooine before I continue these conversations. Probably a good idea. Which one was Tatooine in? Uh... Lower zone? Nope. I'm an idiot and I keep pressing exit. This one. Oh. I'm gonna hit exit every time. Armored, where's Tatooine? I don't know where Tatooine is, and I don't know how to... Let's check the next one. Hoth, Basavis. There it is. I just missed it the first time. Alright. Let's talk to our Imperial Guard Commissar. Master Jedi, I'm aware that my recent military record might raise some concerns. I want to reassure you that my squad fatality rates have not consistently been this high. <laughs> Armored. Fucking Russ. Yes. Russ just told me, I want to reassure you that my squad fatality rates have not consistently been this high. Not consistently. So you only lose all of your men some of the time? The first squad I commanded after making sergeant was sent to free POWs being held at a small Imperial outpost. Intel said the place would be lightly manned. Most of the Imperials wouldn't arrive for another 24 hours. Intel was wrong. Oh, no. The outpost wasn't lightly manned, or the POWs weren't being held there. The Imperials sent their reinforcements a day early. When my squad broke into the outpost, we were outnumbered ten to one. We were outmanned and outgunned, but we achieved our objective, freed all the POWs, and came out alive. My squad's casualty rate was 97.4%, but we had no fatalities. Armored. Would you like to know his yes. most successful mission? So he got bad intel. He ended up fighting 10 to 1 against the enemy. Sounds about right. So his squad casualty rate was 97.4%, but no fatalities. Okay. Which, which means walking wounded. 97.4. Yep. <laughs> it's impressive yeah. that anyone made it out of there with those odds. Sounds they about average. Yeah. Far better than uh, on, honestly, that's not the Imperial. average Imperial Our Guard op. But, you know, otherwise, there'd be 98%, 100% fatality. As a result, we yeah. achieved victory much more efficiently. They must have been Don't worry. An Imperial Guard, or guard operation, 30% yes, of the time, it, have, it succeeds 100% of the time. Exactly. Victory for the Republic is worth any cost. Victory for the Republic is worth any cost. Oh boy. 
Uh, oh, God. We, see, we got somebody who's drinking the punch bowl. Are you uh, fully on Tatooine now? Yep. All right. Let me head on down there. But you got me, v Fun, and Rose done? Uh, yes. Actually, I also got uh, Tim done as well. Nice. Hold on, I can show you Tim as well. Who are we missing then? We're missing... Uh, uh we are missing... Tristan. Tristan's yeah. the only one that I haven't done. That's just because I don't really have that much art of him. I need to get star I need to get with him and get started. What it's and not then, like I've used this God character help me, multiple I'm gonna times. Try. <laughs> oh, sorry, say again. It's not like I've used my character multiple times with you. <laughs> yeah. Now that... oh, God forbid I'm gonna try and get a group, like a group image with each of y'all. Let's see how that works. That's oh. gonna probably make me want to hang myself. Good luck. Uh, while, yep. while we're doing that, what's on the... Car oh, there's nothing fun on the cartel market. Is there isn't? No new colors. Speaking of which, oh, I, man. I got some more... Uh, I got some more credits. Time to blow them immediately. Where's the gold armor pack? Yes. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Where's my loot box? Claim all. That's right. All right, open up the pack. All right, two items. Oh shit, I got the Dark Marauder armor set. I'm trying to remember that. I'll show you. Then the blue efficiency scanner. Okay. And a dual saber. Okay. Claim all three. And then Dark Marauder gets to go into collections. Actually. Well, let's see. Should allow me now. I'm actually going to send you a copy of what Tim looks like, what I came up with, Tim. And it just, just fits. Alright. No, just that, you... I don't know what you're talking about. That does not fit him at all. It, that doesn't Def seem no, incredibly no. extra. No, 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 no. Clearly, it's missing the owl. Yeah, and to anybody who's watching this who has no idea what they're talking, what I'm talking about, it's that I've been using, uh, I've been trying to get images and stuff like that for a D and D party that I DM for. You know what he needs? Mm -hmm. The the seahorse. Sure, seahorse that he's definitely going to use again. He used an octopus. No, oh, it was a seahorse. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a seahorse now? It's been retconned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the episode, like, when they screw something up and they just just switch it in the next episode. Just, like, retcon yeah, just it over like the... pretend like it didn't exist. Or retcon it over in, like, the little beginning portion, the recap. Yeah. Uh, it's what... okay, I'm just, run I'm just running around. What zone are you in? Uh, two. two. I'm in instance two. I'm in one, so let me switch over. Let me switch over to uh, four. Tatooine four. That's the right one, right? Of course! Just throw on PvP randomly. Just bully the people in Tatooine. Well, why not? I mean, what else are we going to do? Now, like Tatooine already has a PvP zone. Irrespective mm -hmm. of what zone you're in. I mean, there's actually some areas of Tatooine that I actually just really like. Mm -hmm. That PvP zone actually is pretty nice. I'm gonna do Marauder. 
Don't mind me, Armored. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, I don't worry. I'm not minding you. This is the Dark Marauder armor. Where are you? Perfect for the desert. I demand to speak to the magistrate. Oh, someone's demanding to speak to the magistrate. Someone's demanding to speak to the goddamn manager. I remember from the last time we were here. You're Armored. a long way from Coruscant, pal. The public's got no jurisdiction here. You got a problem with the locals? Uh, buy yourself a blaster and... Sorry, I'm just reading so. something, Sega. Well, I was, I was just told that I'm a long way from Coruscant, which I fucking am. <laughs> oh god, you're a knight of Ren. Yes. Which the chess piece doesn't look bad. It's... It's the face. Uh, the, the cape I'm hit or miss on. Yeah. I don't like the mask. You've got it pulled up so you can see it. Yeah. I'll have to see it with different colors. Because the color that I have by default, I'm not the biggest fan of. But hey, we're on a desert planet, so might as well use this armor, right? I see no problem. Oh my god, look at it with that metallic black and pearlescent oh red. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh, oh, it, it's it's horrifying. Which one did you, I'll, I'll do it with both. Fuck it. Bo sure. Both, just do both. Actually, oh the god. first one isn't, yeah. <laughs> look, look at the second one, look at that face on the second one. That's what I was saying. I am Cobra Commander. <laughs> just non-copyright. Good lord. Good lord. Actually, the second all, black all on jokes. black. Second black on yeah. black. Oh my god. I was about to say, that doesn't actually look bad. Look at the first let's, gold let's and look white. At the gold. First one is the best. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There's nothing wrong with that color. There's everything wrong with that color. Well... Speaking of which, this is what everyone comes here for, right? Uh, of course. Yeah. Us just talking about style. Hello. Hello, welcome. See, this is. I'm not a fan of this base color. The, the, the like matte gray. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, what are don't we worry. Doing in here? Oh, we're just we're just going down to the butcher's market. Uh, why don't you come on in? Sure. Yeah, you know, I just, just got to do some shopping, you know. A lot of people try to point me out away from this place because it's in a dark, sub, bad side of town. But, uh, you know, it's like you, they, they got some of the best content. So uh, don't worry about it. Uh, ignore me over here. Don't don't know what you're talking what about. What do you mean? There's nothing here. Oh, hold on. There's the butcher. Stand by for examination. Oh, nice. He has some great products. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The but Yep. That's totally what that is. But it definitely... Uh, He's got a lot of stims. These are some great products. Wait, does he actually have stims? Yeah, he has three sets of st or two sets oh, good of Lord, stims. He does. And a Rakul vaccine. Armored, you needed that recently, didn't you? Uh, we don't talk about that. Oh. Did not mean to open up the trade menu with you. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, trade. Let's trade. Yeah, yeah. Let me trade trade you my bound items. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, don't worry, I found the secret door. There, good as new. Oh, the the butcher's market's downstairs. Don't worry about it. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I've uh, I have my GoPro. Don't you worry. We're gonna film uh, all of this. No, no, we, 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 I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we need to do that. What do you mean? I'm a, uh, what was in Cyberpunk? I'm a media. That's what it is. You know what? You know, you're right. Well, how about after that, you send that to me? I've got some nice editing software. Oh, why was that guy called Master Assassin? That's, he must be really good at cutting up the meat. Remember, I told you, this is a very bad part of town. Well, no, he just, he, he's the butcher. Like, you know, he carves up the meat. He's just a master uh -huh. at it. I actually think this uh, eyepiece that I got might actually be good for the agent. Oh, probably. 
Though I still think one of my favorites is just the fucking gas mask. <laughs> the, the one you get on Quash. Yeah, that's true. It is pretty decent. It just... It's just like... How do I make the Imperial Agent looks like he commits more war crimes? Yeah, pretty much. You know what? I'm gonna switch up who I've got with me. Ooh, spicy. I'll bring... Doc. No, I'm just kidding. Gross. Oh, I can't. You're still fighting people. Good. Any delay getting that boy here is a Come moment on. well saved. Sergeant Russ reporting for duty. No, no, I know who I'm gonna bring. God damn it, you went into combat. I'll do it again if it means I can keep Doc out of here. I'm not bring Doc. I'm bringing someone far more dangerous as a companion. T7. The most dangerous. My companions. Droid with the single highest body count in the entire trilogy. You ready to see who I brought? The hero. It's about right. <laughs> the fucking ship droid. <laughs> yes. Dude's a war criminal. He's definitely built for combat. Now I'll bring who I actually want. Where's this mofo? Uh, you know what? It has been a while since I had T7. DPS T7. Boy. Even though T7's technically a tank class. Yes, which always amazed me. He's a master tank. He's a master baiter. Yep, exactly. Oh, speaking of which, I'm not working at peak performance. Now I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh look, we found the butcher. Oh, he's a really good shot. Uh huh. I think he's just missing at that point. Purpose. Damn. Does this make you proud? You fool yeah. the public into drowning you in honors while you fetch and heal for the Empire. Maybe you'll kill me. But not before I show the galaxy that you're a traitor. I'd hoped I was driving you crazy, but I never meant it literally. <laughs> Hello. She seems normal. <laughs> the joke's on you. You're awfully trusting, Captain. A man helps you once so you can trust him forever. A woman gets selected so she'll be loyal to the office. But senators can't be traitors. I just discussed that with T7. T7, you can't watch this. The rest of the gangs will fold. We'll have the whole underworld locked up. Then the Void Wolf will keep his promise? When the Empire wins, I'll have a planet of my own? She's a center, doesn't she basically have a planet of her own? Yeah, I was about to say, Shirty has that. All these missions, you were the one behind them? I never thought you'd survive the King's Ransom, but it was awful good-hearted of you to clear Rogan out of my way. How could you not know who you're working for? Now there's no one left to stand against Because you were betraying them every step of the way anyways? <laughs> I mean, I kind of was. Okay, you won. But I did the legwork. 
How about a partnership? You're not in my league. He's put together a pirate fleet. The Republic expects an attack from outside, not from gangs within their borders. Chang, Desora, finish this off. Wait, you had this intel and you didn't want to leak it to the Republic? Doesn't raise my opinion of you, but it does put us on the same side. I'll get your back, you <laughs> get mine. Look at that, I see that light side option. You. But I don't think you're smart enough to do all this to trick me. This is the guy who just got duped. It, doesn't take it might be the light side decision, but I still think it's the smarter choice. <laughs> Not like you've been duped recently. Now, I, I'm sorry I couldn't partic help you out in that conversation with the Void Wolf or tell any of the Republic about uh, this plan to betray. But uh, you see, T7 here was, uh, I had to cover his ears. We didn't want them to know that a senator could be a traitor. I'm man enough to admit you saved my life. Guess that's worth a ship full of blasters. You win. I forgot that's why I wanted to kill you. You've walked a hell of a line to help the Republic while claiming yourself the throne of the underworld. His tune t changed real fast. If we'd known the truth, maybe we could have teamed up sooner. Don't think this means I'll be giving the toast at your wedding or anything. <laughs> me, the I'm not Wolf's getting got married. Most of the galactic underworld working for him or running Garisha. scared. He needs to go down. No. And I'm too old to do it. But I'll give you any weapons you need out of my personal vault. Not that I'm turning down free stuff, but does that do me any good if we can't find the scum? The Void Wolf's flagship is at Corellia. He was part of the plot to force its government to sell out to the Empire. My guess is Darmus I'm sorry, and what? Are with him. You want to chase them? I can put you in touch with Correo, a fence I work with. I'm glad I never managed to knock you off. I'm sorry, Corellia fell? What? Yeah, what the hell was he talking about? I, I feel like some, some key information was just left lacking on that. No, no, Corelli is fine. The government didn't sell out to the Empire or anything. They're definitely not. No, they wouldn't do that. I think we would have heard about that by now. That is the fun part of Corelli for the imps. No, my favorite line in Corellia is on the, in the, in the Republic side. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. D, uh, have you, you done the story, the planetary mission in Corellia as the smuggler, right? Armored? Yes, my name is Armored. So you just ignored me for the last minute and a half, man, that's me. <laughs> no, it's totally not like I was in the middle of a conversation. Ah. Sorry. Uh, I was saying that uh, Corellia is... I like the Corellia on the Empire a lot, because, you know, you get to do some fun stuff, like uh, subvert oh, the government. Yeah. But, my favorite, no. but my favorite line comes from uh, Corellia on the pub side, if you're playing as the smuggler. Okay. Uh, if When you're fighting uh, the big boy, mm -hmm. as a smuggler, he gets so pissed at you, he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Basically, he's like... I a mercenary did all of this. He's like super pissed. <laughs> like, I, like, just like, how could my plans fall to a fucking hired gun? <laughs> You're like, ah, uh, yes. That's what how... was it? I remember in one of the later DLCs, the uh, ultimate big bad evil guy is like, how could I? Plans have been spoiled by just one rogue, non-force sensitive, and like I remember, is like I think the agent would be like, honestly, I'm surprised I got here myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm surprised I made it this far. <laughs> All right, but whenever you're ready, I'm just waiting on Corellia. I think you still have a mission oh, before no. you can go. Yeah, why'd you go? Did you actually go all the way to Corellia? Yeah. God damn it! Now I have to pick you up in Corellia. No, it's fine. I can just go back to uh, Tatooine. I can just go, yeah, I can just go back to Tatooine. Hold on. That would be appreciated. I totally didn't forget either, and definitely didn't get on my ship.
Then we have a fun little bit in Corellia. Oh man, Corellia is going to be wild because I was supposed to save a lot more people than I actually did. That I was supposed to see in Corellia. <laughs> you know, kind of like a big ultimatum to all the light side choices you definitely made. Oh, there you mm -hmm. are. Definitely. Definitely all those light side choices I made. Definitely didn't oh, kill 100%. anyone. Oh, 100%. Definitely didn't kill anyone who, uh... Nope, not a problem. Listen, they asked to die, okay? Nobody died that didn't deserve it. He'd wanted to preserve his honor by dying. Who am I to say no? Get on the goddamn ship. Alright, Misa on your ship now. Perfect. Did you know to protect your characters you should not share your password or secret questions and answers to any other players? Uh oh. Ah shit. I gave all of them to the Donald Trump guy I met on Old Mantel. So, so what you're saying is that I shouldn't have mentioned that my password is <laughs> or that my social security number was Oh, that is actually very loud for me. <laughs> oh, wow. is it? Yeah, that was... I, I, I upped you recently. Ooh. Because you were on the lower side. Hold on, let me drop. Uh, is it still coming across low? No, no, no. It's not. Because I upped the volume on my side. There you go. That should be about where I usually have you. They won't notice any difference in sound quality or sound strength based off how it's going, but I physically adjusted my headset sound. Uh, hello, people. What are we doing? There we go. That's What's it going on? What, Imperials on a Republic ship? No, that, that doesn't happen. I forgot what this mission was. Oh, yeah. Uh, Warden Stow, the one of the... One of the people who's been brainwashed by the Emperor uh, was seen on this ship. Sorry. Mm. Yeet! Oh, I may or may not have accidentally triggered the talk to Warden Sadao. Well, uh oh. Hello. Oh, well, this looks like a nice little party. Look at that outfit he's got on. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Told you I'm a media. Damn, they just executed all the prisoners. Except for that guy. Another step and the Admiral dies. What happens to me doesn't matter. He's going to destroy us all. Kill him! How can he destroy us all? It's only one ship. He did something to my mind. Made me reveal the security codes for our entire fleet. This flagship belongs to the Empire. Stay and the Admiral's blood will be on your hands. So, this isn't you, I, I'm, I'm sorry, the there's one security you. You code for the entire out. fleet. Focus. Well, no, he just also, no there's multiple, but he's memorized down. them all, and there's no safeguards. Oh, I see. Youth won't save you. My master gave me all the strength I need to finish this. So, casually, uh, the Admiral does not have any, cannot be locked out of any of the security codes, because it's impeccable security. Because his ship would never be, uh taken over. That'd be impossible. It would be impossible for the ship to be taken over and them to uh, remove mm. remove his security out of clearance. Oh, 100%. You 
insist on being a slave. With your power, you could do, be anything. You could rule worlds, crush all enemies, have any woman you want. <laughs> the third option is didn't do squat for you. All I'd have to do is become the Emperor's puppet. Like you. You don't understand. The dark side will set you free. I've tasted real power. I don't know. I'll never return to the Jedi. I don't know, he's making some good points. Master Braga will lead the Empire to victory on Corellia. Billions will die. I don't know, he's 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 making some real good points. You just told me how to stop the Emperor. Either you want that, or you're lying. He wouldn't kill the Admiral, and now this. I think he's trying to help. Why would I be afraid to tell you that you've already failed? Corellia will fall, <laughs> and the Republic with it. The knowledge in this man's head could destroy the Republic. He's a traitor. We can't let him live. Last time I checked, Jedi weren't executioners. We can't risk him escaping and telling the I don't know, tell knows. that to the Imperials. There's only one way to be sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> Kill him yourself. <laughs> God! <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he'd do it with a smile. We will not kill a defenseless man. He was our ally once. I hope he will be again. Lock him up until other Jedi come to claim him. Understood, Admiral? Weak as ever. This is why the Republic always fails. <laughs> That's more satisfying than the blaster. On my terms. The ship's medtechs will sedate him until your people arrive. Works for me. If this information about Corellia is true, our forces are in danger. We'd better mobilize everything we have. I'll alert High Command. You inform your council. Good luck. Listen, having him get shot is a lot of fun. Having the Admiral shoot him is a lot of fun, but watching him get punched is even more fun. Yeah. We... Very long mission, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right, it's this way. I was just going to go through the bolt door, obviously. I like how your ship's just magically in uh, in dock. When'd you bring it? <laughs> I think it's called like uh, slave rigged in uh, Star Wars to have the uh, thing go automatically. Uh, I think so. It sounds right. Admiral Dabrin and his flagship um, are safe. I have to go Master. to Corellia to the Gilded Descent alive, Casino. You'll find he's changed. Oh, that one. We were able to help Leha Nares. I have to go to a casino the in the middle of a war zone. I see no one flaws in this. Master Braga is on Corellia. He's the Emperor's secret weapon in the war there. The Republic is sending everything it has to liberate Corellia. If Master Braga is aiding the enemy, the Emperor has no interest in keeping Corellia. He desires the deaths of billions to fuel his ritual. Find Master Braga and stop this madness. Set course for Corellia immediately. Set force, force, uh, set course for Corellia. Level fucking 58. Woo. Let's see if Scourge has anything to talk about. I have sought the Emperor's death for so long, yet I cannot picture the galaxy without him. When I was born, the Emperor was the Empire. Everything existed to feed his whims. He was so far above us, no one, Sith or slave, would have dared even form an opinion about him. I'd say joining Revan to kill him counts as an opinion. When I began serving him, I thought it was far simpler than that. Okay, the then. Man, isolated by unimaginable power and the inability to trust the scheming sycophants who served him, I was wrong. Whee! He is a disease that must be around stopped it. before it ravages us. Uh. I will stop him. Then heed me. Immortality comes at a terrible price. 
taste, smell, touch, color, emotion. The Emperor and I experience none of these things. We are no longer mortal. When you face the Emperor, do not forget that. Damn, Scourge. Scourge just told me about uh, the price of immortality. Fucking no taste, no. Uh, it was no taste, no smell, no uh, touch, no emotion. All right, tough guy. We need to have the talk. Know the one I mean? Uh, armored. I'm in trouble. Yes. Uh, you Kira, are. Kira says that we need to have the talk. Well. Uh, uh, let me just back out of this conversation real fast and, uh. <laughs> I was doing. That's exactly what I was doing. Where's... There's the escape pod. There's the escape pod. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh no, it's not available. She's locked the escape pods down. <laughs> Armored, save me. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this talk is. Alright, tough guy. We need to have the talk. Know the one I mean? I think so, but maybe you could help me out. Just because the galaxy might implode any second doesn't mean we drop you everything know, else. You know. <laughs> We're good together. Question is, what kind of life are we going to have? We're making the most of things. What more can we have, Kira? thing about secret relationships is, it's easy to forget you're in one. I don't want to be forgotten. Damn. Let me make sure you never feel forgotten. I love you, Kira. I commit my life to you, and only you. Forever. Forever sounds about right. All right, Armored, I just need you to know. Uh, Shame we can't throw a party on. and invite everyone, but this'll do. Yeah. I just need you to know that since we're going into the, some of the biggest battlefields we've had so far, I've decided I'm getting married to Kira. I'm sure there's no flag whatsoever for doing that. Armored's <laughs> just silent. <laughs> others on a mission. We'll have the ship to ourselves. Make sure it's an especially long mission. Listen. Armored. There's no flags whatsoever. I just married her. This. Probably best if I don't. <laughs> at least until right before we go off to war. Sooner we get rid of the uh -huh. Empire, sooner we can enjoy moments like this full time. Let's get cracking, handsome. No downside that I can see. You know, we're about to fight an immortal empire and his secret weapon, Increlia. About to topple a pirate fleet as well. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> Neat. Master, I've landed on Corellia. From what I saw flying in, the fighting here is intense. Corellia is in a state of total war. <gasps> the Republic and Empire aren't holding back anything. Armored Corellia is in a state of total war. Military. What? Total War Corellia, the next CA game. No. And each death brings the Emperor closer to his goal. Which is why we cannot retreat. If the Republic pulls back, the Empire will exterminate every being here. Our enemy doesn't need a planet-destroying device. The war itself will deliver what he needs. Master Tall Braga is aiding the enemy. He knows how to hurt us, block our efforts to save this world. Removing Master Braga from the Emperor's control is the key to victory. It's a big world. He could be anywhere. He commands legions of Imperials and Sith. He cannot do that from hiding. Only a handful of Jedi remain alive on Corellia. I'm sending reinforcements from the Outer Rim, but they're inexperienced. We need strong leadership to win this battle. I'm naming you Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces. Uh, Armored? Yes, my now, name is Armored. I'm now the Supreme Commander of Jedi Forces on Corellia. No. I resolve this crisis with as few casualties as possible. Corellia must not fall. 
Your mission is twofold. Direct our forces to aid the Republic military's efforts and personally find Master Braga. Until reinforcements arrive, rally those few Jedi already on the surface. My contact, Captain Rick Dean, will help you locate them. I'm sending his coordinates. May the Force be with you. Oh, armor, nice and simple. We have two armies down there with two separate chains of command. The Republic military and the Jedi military. Oh, and the Jedi true. forces. And I am now in command of all the Jedi forces. And they said I wouldn't have powers as Jedi. What fools they are. But yeah, time for some Total War Corelli. Are you ready? Oh, he doesn't even want to respond to me on that one. Looks like I'm done with you. But how was the casino? I haven't gone to the casino yet. <laughs> how dare you. Waiting for you. You know, I need I need my wingman before I can go to the casino. <laughs> Everybody know that Jedi are really good at gambling. This is just... actually that actually is true. One hundred percent true. I was gonna say, do you remember the mission with uh, Lana and Galt? <laughs> yep. It's like, well, you guys just read people's minds. <laughs> Where it's confirmed that uh, Force Sensitive just reads the minds of the other players. Yep. There's only one way to succeed by thinking dirty thoughts the entire time. Yeah. Take a look at the stock. I mean, what hell, with I Lana get? around, I mean, Appreciate your business. <laughs> it's not hard. Hold it. Look, look at that mustache. On your own squad. We need all the help we can get. Are you sure? There's the two of us. Imperial control. I trust that mustache. Every he knows what he's talking about. Every soldier and CO in the galaxy is fighting to get her back. We thought the Empire had taken the planet by force. Turns out, they had the Corellian Council's blessing. Wait, hold on. That doesn't make sense. How do you think they won by force? You deserve whatever the Empire gets and worse. We'd have to get to them first. The Empire's taken over factories, shipyards, even local transport. The transport blockades become the most urgent problem. The Republic's got allies all over Corellia. But without access to the rocket tram system, most of the Republic army is stuck here. I mean, this honestly just sounds like the government was... just joined the Empire of their own free will, and for some reason the Republic has decided, no, we're going to war over this. Well, they're already at war. You need someone skilled to regain access, I take it. Oh, We've bullshit. Got our hands full just holding the God space force. You got the, the exact same thing. The Corellia we have left. Mm -hmm. anyway, that's the second time that's world. happened. Today. A major Told you, party leader hunt. gets priority. One of the founding members of the Republic. If we fall here, it might be for good. General Aves knows more about the trans system situation. He wants to see anyone willing to help. To be perfectly honest, this is different than the Clone Wars thing, because they were already at war when Corellia defected. <laughs> so. Distractions, reinforcements, an armed escort. Whatever the Republic needs. Accessing the rocket trams more a question of safety than firepower. General Aves has a command bunker here in the spaceport. I'll tell him to expect you. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Already then. Yeah, the forces are already at war. They had the forces here when they switched sides. When Corellia switched sides, they went, fuck it. We're fighting for this world because we're already at war with you fuckers. You just chose the wrong side. Yeah. Oh, he's up there. Can you get up there this way? Yes, you can. Wait, what are you trying to do? I'm going to speak to General Aves. Oh, that's right. I forgot that we actually have to leave, technically leave the zone. Well, you don't. He's Before actually in the mission. spaceport. He's not a... Uh, it's not like the Empire. He's not on a fucking ship. That made no sense. It's like, hey, you know, we, we could. And you, and you have to go back there a few times, if I'm not mistaken. 
yeah. I don't think it has a fast travel point. Nope. Nope, not at all. You did the same thing as me. No. I saw you pass by the entrance and be like, hold on, you can go up this way. General Aves, I was told you could use some help. And then some. I'm glad you all appreciate the importance of Corellia. Corporal Hartkins and debatable. Access to the I didn't even know we were at war. But he wasn't clear to know why. The Empire's gotten their hands on some modified neutron emitters. They're using them to wipe out anyone on board the trams. What? Are the Imperials attacking Corellian passengers too? Unfortunately, yes. But it hasn't stopped them from trying to escape to the more war-torn areas. The Republic has allies all over Corellia. But they're no help if we can't reach them. We've got to find those neutron emitters. We received word that Corsic may have intel on the neutron emitters' location. They've carved out a safe haven in the red light sector. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Yeah, Gun. that's Mercs. what they're doing there. <laughs> Mercs and hoes. The sooner this is done, the better. Without trams, the only way to reach the red light sector is on foot, and Imperial shock troops control what's in between. If you attack the Empire's supply camps, the shock troops will be distracted. My escort will move to meet up with Corsac as fast or as I we can. can. Just kill everyone. Yeah, we can make our way there. You're on your own. I understand completely. Once Damn you reach it. the red light sector, <laughs> meet me in the Gilded Descent. It's an old casino turned Corsac fortress. I'll let Corsac know where. Where'd you supposed to go there? I have to go. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly where I'm supposed to go. So we'll go there at the end. Yeah. We can go there after the planetary mission, I guess. Unless nah. it's like right. No, nah, you know what? No, nah, we'll go there first because who knows what what's gonna have me doing there? Yeah. No, it's uh, I'm trying to think. Well, where is the Gilded Descent? That's the question. Ooh. Nice to see customers. Can I get you anything? Feel free to browse. Delicious. Bastille yeah. Shipyards. All right. Oh, wow. That's really close. My stuff's just around. Yep. Your stuff's just around the corner. Oh, this street Honestly, looks we fine. Could, we could just go grab these four supply camps and then go over to my thing. Yeah. Well, here's mine real fast. Let's activate yeah. this one. I'm sure nothing bad could possibly happen. Definitely not like you're short staffed or anything. Probably I don't know, there's a ton of people in here. Uh huh. I want those shield generators online yesterday. Move it, privates! Oh, I don't Actually, know. I'm a lieutenant Master major. Teal Sean sent me. Actually, a private first class. Commander. You made it. Lieutenant Commander. Thank the skies. The Empire controls so much of Corellia, we can barely establish a landing zone. The enemy has us under constant bombardment. Dude, this We're guy's a, a hero. Bottleneck. Look, do you see that hair, ma masculine hairline, as well as the facial hair? Mm-hmm. Sounds oh, like one. our first order of business is knocking a hole in the Empire's forward lines. You'll want to speak with Corporal Hartke about that. My job is to organize your forces. He's got Shuttles the full-on hairline and the shortly. stash in the meantime, to back yeah. it up. gather the few already here. I have coordinates to the last known locations of your fellow Jedi. That's the best I can offer. You've done well. I'll take it from here. This location is the rallying point for your forces. As the reinforcements arrive, they'll come here. Take the intel on the Jedi you're looking for. I hope you find them. Or not. Doesn't really matter. Find the Jedi at the burning apartment building. That That's uh, very that's, that's specific. That's specific enough. No, that's completely specific. There's only one apartment building in this entire zone. Hey, look, there's one over there. Exactly. All right, so this and over there, and and and, and over there. Oh, I fell. 
Armored, I've fallen and I can't get up. Well, that sucks. Oh, did you go around? Are you trying to go around the left hand side? Yep. Does it let you? I thought you have to go around. Oh. Uh, we're gonna see. Yeah, you can. How oh, nice. On my way, armored. A wee boy. A wee boy. Let's see if I can get around any conflicts. No fights, no fights, no fights. Damn it. Ugh, got caught. Good job, Armored. Oh, did you have to jump down? Yeah. Oh, I see where you jumped down from. Okay. Armored, I started a fight with more people. How could... I forgot I was triggered on someone else. No, you didn't. I definitely wasn't looking a different direction, hit the jump ability, and just watched myself jump backwards and like, what the fuck? <laughs> about right. All right. All right, we can go stop at your thing. Yep. Then we'll and go head. destroy the southern stockpot. And then grab the one by the Gilded Descent. Yep. And then go into the Gilded Descent. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look. Then we can gamble all of your money away. Well, I, I, they did give me, like, some money for funds for the uh, Jedi army in Corellia. I mean, it's not like we need that. We're Jedi. It would be wrong for us to have money. It. Yeah. Oh, there's some fearful tenants over there. Got this armored. Uh -huh. You're doing so much damage. Of course I am. I'm me after all. Exactly. Couldn't do it without you. Who's this person? Oh god. Oh, I remember him. Yeah. I get the feeling we've met before. That was a really long time ago. Oh, that's right, because I killed Bangle Moore, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did as well. Maybe we have a destiny to uh, together. I'm taking charge of all Jedi forces. We're rallying reinforcements at these coordinates. Go. 
Why does everyone forget about me? Wait, is he talking about the first time you saved Tython or the second? Just casually saving the planet twice. Yeah, naturally. The Rusty Freighter Cantina. It's a nice cantina name. <laughs> it's an ironic nickname. It's actually one of the cleanest places in Corelli. Oh, Armor, do you know what place you should name one of the taverns in uh, the place dealing with all the ogre wives? Uh huh. The dancing. Yeah, the dancing goblin. The what? The dancing goblin. Seems about right. Good job, Armored. I know, right? We we. Let's see if we can avoid the enemies. I say that while immediately not avoiding the enemies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 There. Good as new. Hey, yeah, armored. Look, they're fighting for us. Yes, that was what happened. They've got this. What? Let's watch them do it. I want you to know that I got all the cor I got all the bonuses for that. <laughs> because I technically was fighting them first. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I triggered them first and Kira was fighting them. Yeah, that's how that happened. And then, uh, some passerby decided to give me free points. Mm-hmm. Where are the Force Sensors? Oh, uh, they're around here. Yeah. Uh, fuck. I don't remember these. Oh, there they are. I want to fight the strong enemy. You coming? I'm busy. I'm doing the objective. Well, okay. Destroyed two or four sensor rays. Oh, I see. I get it. Did you get two of the four? No. But I also am not too broken up over it. I just, want to, I just need to destroy the camp. To be fair, I'm not either. <laughs> they were just near me. I was like, I'll do it. Okay. Wee. Where were... There's a huge gunfight yeah. in front of the casino. There's a what? A huge gunfight in front of the casino. Oh my god. Oh look, there's a sensor here. There. Good as nail. Oh no, Warmer died. You, you did this! I was only slightly late. You know when I say I'll be there at 6, and I show up at like 7. That de definitely didn't happen to me this weekend. Um. Oh, let's bring him back up. No point in leaving him laying around. Come on, wake up, sleepyhead. Uh. 
How did you end up dying to just too many enemies? Drifting. There you That's go. That's so cool. Hey, look, armored. Look, you can grab the uh, these. Yay! Destroy the Imperial Turbo Laser. Hold on, there's an Imperial Turbo Laser? I still need one more. Where's this Turbo Laser? I don't see a Turbo Laser. Ah, fuck it. That's because right. it's down here by me. You went the wrong... Oh, it says it's in a circle over... Oh, I see. That's your circle. <laughs> I'm a genius. Yeah, give me one second. I'll join you. On that one, because I already see a sensor array. Perfect. I'll grab it, I'll be waiting. Man, a nice peaceful spot with no enemies guarding this turbo laser. I'm sure there'll be nothing that happens. I just leveled up uh, my. Here, I'm almost max level, man. <laughs> Yes. Is it 65 or 70? Level. No, I think it's like 75 or so. It is. It's like 70 or 75. Mm. Did you get the sensor? Mm hmm. Let's do it. Alright. <sighs> Two grenades are better than one. <laughs> what? Uh... How could there have been enemies? And why weren't they initially guarding the turbo laser? This is Republic tactics here. The imps are supposed to be better than this. We come to defend it only after it's been destroyed. Exactly. Do, 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 do. And we now have all the Imperial Artillery Coats. Pretty sure that was more of an AA gun than an artillery piece. Well, whatever works for. Where are you, Armored? On my way. I have something for you. Armored! Catch! Ah, oh, my eyes! My eyes! So, the turn ends over here. We. Oh my gosh, I got so much experience. I can't yeah. believe it. From what? Turning in the artillery codes. What? It still looks like it's lights work. We're good. Oh, damn, I'm right fell asleep. Uh, no, I'm just looking at... I've seen a lot of strange things, but nothing like... Hey, the furball speaks! <laughs> to the Master Jedi Advisor of the Republic Force. Seem the war didn't heed our wish, Captain. Though Sharis made it back alive and whole. 
I trust you're here with Wait, I'm, Donna. Why is she not she appropriating the my command? Our strategy against the Empire. Stop her. She's selling the Republic to the Void Wolf so she can become supreme dictator of her own little world. That's quite an accusation. Considering Dodonna's word is your only source of credibility in the Republic. Do you have proof? The Senate will require evidence. We do have the Darmus holo recording. Working with her. Maybe we can get him to turn on her. Darmus Polaran? His relationship with Dodonna has been the top scandal on Coruscant. Rada, check our records. Darmus Polaran's a known criminal. Does the SIS list any aliases or safe houses he's used on Corellia? Achib et busho el haaretz acher yachata mishom. I just remembered what you can do to fucking Darus. Like Darmus, and you know, nice you know damn well trail. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's stolen all oh, your women. <laughs> that fucking bullshit that you can spout to just fudge up his name. Yeah. You do a lot of bullshit as a smuggler. Yep. I know back all the way back on uh, what's his name, Scarvin. I keep wanting to say Skaven because he's a little rat. Skavik. Skavik, the rat, also known as Skaven. Uh, yeah. You can you can say he's got all the fucking <laughs> venereal diseases. Yeah. Just like yep. give him I all I of them. I did that too. Yeah. It's like give him all of them. What do you mean all of them? I mean, all, all of, them. of them. Even the ones that are only for Welcome Hut. To the gilded descent. Matter of fact, especially, especially those. Ready yeah. and waiting for us. Put them on there twice. Coronet Shipping. They're a major distributor of starship parts and weapons. The place is built like a fortress. Unfortunately, the Empire's using it as shock troop headquarters. That makes a straight assault impossible. No, it doesn't. Too many defenses. We beat the shock troops around the spaceport, didn't we? That was just a few patrols. We're talking about a fully staffed and heavily armed HQ. Yeah, and you got you two of us. The place on Corellia has a back door. Corsac thinks some of the Salonian tunnels run right Hold on. the Coronet shipping. The Salonians haven't dealt much with the Republic, so I sent a Corellian to do the negotiating. He should have been back by now. Who is this Corellian exactly? Can he be trusted? Well, he's dead. Cole Cantaris, a former captain in Corsex Council Guard. The man's impulsive, but he hasn't let me down yet. Sir, Imperials attacked the rendezvous point. Captain Cantaris and the Salonian have been captured. Someone tipped off the Imperials. Do we know where they're being held? There's a captured Corsex station nearby. They would have the cell blocks and fortifications they'd need. Corsex needs to keep the red light sector secure. You've got to free That's Captain right. Cantaris they do. and his Salonian contact. Most important sector. I'll handle it. These Corsex stations have room for plenty more prisoners. Help them if you can. But Cantaris and his contact are your primary concern. I'll put Corsex on alert and tell my scouts to watch for any sign of them. Get going. All right, we're past an hour, so let's end it here. Uh, you sure you don't want to? Oh wait, no. There, uh, there's one more person we can talk. Oh, never mind. That's just me turning in the mission for the artillery. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Pretty like eight hour, one hour and ten minutes. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, everyone. Let us get our codex entry to end it. Oh, that got me to level sixty-three. God damn it. All right, Corellia, one of the founding worlds of the Galactic Republic. Corella nothing, nothing less prides itself on its independence, just as independent as they are under the Empire. Some of the finest starships in the galaxy are also made in Corellia, along with their daring pilots, men and women looking to explore, to trade, or just stay ahead of the law. The cities, like the people, are distinctly Corellian, incorporating the natural landscape into their design despite a hand, heavy manufacturing base. The Corellian government recently agreed to turn over power to the Sith Empire. This has resulted in riots in the street and open revolution. Despite Imperial claims of legitimacy, the capital of Coronet City has become a battlefield. Well, let us get our party started. 
Uh, I've not triggered any uh, death flags by getting married right before these final fights. Uh, but we'll see you next time. As long as I don't die. It's usually a plot. Ah. What's the code for the die? Was it slash? Slash kill. Kill, thank you. There we go. Nope, it doesn't do it for me. Well, you gotta be you gotta be in combat for it to do that. Ah, uh, and it just kills you. Yep. All right. Well, there's only one way to do it. Or no, I'm I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's slash stuck while you're in combat. Oh, okay. Well, see y'all later.